Clock in, clock in. Black gotta just walk in. Yeah. yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. I had somebody pull up some shit like yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his fighters. Team Black got a stand up, man. Oh. Honestly, guys, the reason I'm finna watch this video is really because of the title. Why does this say Pooh Shiesty Sentencing? Goodbye, Pooh Shiesty. This gotta be some bullshit. Is this the same dude that be reaching in his uh little titles? The trending plug? Oh, not no call, boy. You must be lying. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about his case, too. Like, Jack Boy had something to say about it. That boy said, you know, I'm getting life. In Florida, they be overdoing it, which they do. And even Big 30 said something like, he don't know what's gonna happen, but he know he ain't gonna kiss life. And I'll be damned if he kiss life. A lot of people been sending me the video, bro. So right after this video, I'm gonna go look at the video of what literally happened in the situation and see if I can come up with what the hell really gonna happen to my damn self. Hey, what up guys? We're back at it again with another wild video for you today. Pooh seems like he's in some serious trouble, but he's not afraid to face it head on. In today's video, we've been a bit discussing Pooh situation and how he's facing the possibility of a life sentence. Before we start, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know what it is. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. So without any more hesitation, let's get into it. All right, so all of this goes back to an incident that occurred on October 9th, 2020 in Bay Harbor Islands, Florida. Now, Bay Harbor Islands is known to be a relatively nice place with some good places to grab a bite to eat while enjoying some scenic landscape. However, in this case, Pooh Shasti was allegedly there on personal business. According to reports, Pooh had been squatted up with a couple of his associates, two men named Jaden DeRosa and Bobby Brown. The group had been doing whatever Bobby Brown. They normally do, but they were also getting ready to roll out to a deal that had been set up. Shiesty and his crew were allegedly finna meet someone to pick up some high-end sneakers, as well as some party favors. In this case, they were picking up some marijuana and liquid codeine, aka lean. Now this ain't not the ordinary for rappers, especially if they live the way that a lot of them claim to. They finna need weed and lean on deck at all times. This means whether it's dumb or an associate. Someone is gonna have to make some illicit deals every now and then. And anyone who has ever been involved in a dealing, even if it was just for a little bit of buzz, knows that things don't always go as planned. People show up late, show up with other people, or sometimes don't show up at all. But sometimes things will take a turn for the worse, and it looks like that's exactly what happened in Shiesty's case. In this case, the deal would turn into an apparent robbery with the victims being the people who were allegedly selling Shiesty the product, and with two of them getting shot at by Shiesty's team. And to make matters even worse for everyone involved, the entire incident was captured by a surveillance camera from a building nearby. In the video, you can see three cars pulling into a parking lot. Two of them are a Mercedes and one a super nice McLaren. All of the vehicles pull up next to one another. And after a little while, a couple of men get out of each vehicle. And it's not long after that before weapons get pulled. In the video, you can see one man in a black hoodie standing on the passenger side of the McLaren pull a gun. And almost immediately after, another man in a white t-shirt on the driver's side also pulled one. The two men simultaneously let shots off and panic ensues. Everyone begins running and the two shooters run back to the Mercedes that had parked on the passenger side of the McLaren. The vehicle then pulls off, with the McLaren following closely behind as the group makes a clean getaway. But if you take a look at the video closely, as the McLaren pulled off, you can see a bag fall out of the car. And it was that bag that would end up being part of Shiesty's downfall. After the shooting, the two men who had allegedly been there to sell the product to Shiesty were both transported to the hospital to be treated for gunshot wounds. Both men got shot in the buttocks and ended up making a full recovery. Both of them got shot in the ass? In the booty. Like, the butt. I bet you they talked about it before, like, if anything, like, bro. Everything go wrong, shoot them niggas dead in they booty. You feel me? Shoot them well, right where they boo-boo at. You feel me? Since they want to play, all right. 
you ain't gonna sit down for a couple weeks. Who Shiesty was arrested in June of this year and is being indicted on charges from the shooting that took place in October of 2020, as well as a more recent shooting that he was allegedly involved in. The second shooting took place at a nightclub in Miami and apparently involved Shiesty shooting a security guard in the ankle before fleeing the state. As of right now, his biggest charges are stemming from the robbery and shooting that took place in October of last year, where two men both ended up being shot. The charges against Shiesty were one count of conspiracy to commit a Hobbs Act robbery, one count of committing a Hobbs Act robbery, one count of conspiracy to possess firearms and furtherance of a crime of violence, and lastly, one count of discharging a firearm and furtherance of a crime of violence. All four are federal charges, and each one can carry a maximum sentence of 20 years by themselves. When you stack them all together and then you add in the charges from the shooting that he was allegedly involved in that happened in Miami. He then grew angry. He pointed the gun at him and shot him. The victim specifically states in the arrest warrant that he had to move out of the way. He was directly shooting at him. Uh, the only reason he got shot in the ankle was because he jumped out of the way at the last minute. Uh, this happened in front of a club full of people. There's video of the defendant with the gun in his hand. He has a prior uh, pending open case right now where he's also with a gun and two people were shot. Shia D is facing some serious time. And if he gets hit with everything, he's going to go away for life. There's no doubt about it. And to make matters worse, it looks like some of the evidence the police and federal agents have against Shia D is him unwittingly snitching on himself. Alright, so if there's one thing that you should take away from this is that you've got to watch the things that you post on social media. Do you remember the bag that we mentioned before that fell out the McLaren after the shooting occurred? Well, it turns out that inside that bag was quite a bit of cash and the feds were actually able to tie that money directly to Shiesty through a post he made on his Instagram. Just a few days before the robbery and shooting occurred, Shiesty posted a picture on his Instagram of him holding a stack of cash that had been fanned out across the length of the entire arm. All in all, it was a pretty dope picture. However, according to reports, the feds were able to zoom in on some of those bills and enhance the pictures enough to catch the serial numbers. How wild is that? The picture wasn't even a close-up of the cash. It was far away and they were able to get serial numbers from multiple bills. This was bad news for Shiesty, seeing how one of the bills found in the bag of money matched one of the bills on his arm, which immediately connected him to the shooting. Another thing that they're more likely going to bring up in court is the vehicle that we saw in the video. Shiesty posts pictures of himself standing next to or sitting inside that exact car all the time. And as we said, it's a super sweet looking McLaren, not a common car whatsoever. So in the eyes of the FBI and the police, Pooh Shiesty was directly involved in the case. And to make matters worse, it looks like he was unwittingly snitched in on himself. So definitely watch what you post on your social media. The things that these people can find out through your posts if they ever need to go looking can be more incriminating than you may think. Considering this current situation, things don't look too great for Shiesty. Following his arrest in June, he had his bond revoked, meaning that he would have to wait his trial from behind bars. This means he's been in jail waiting for the past four months, give or take a week or so, just waiting while police and prosecutors manage to gather more and more evidence. At first, it seemed like he wasn't ready to face his charges, as his lawyers filed a motion that would have delayed Shiesty's trial. However, that motion has since been withdrawn, and it's looking like Shiesty is ready to face whatever comes his way, which as we mentioned before, is potentially serious time. With the four charges against him from the October shooting, he could potentially be facing up to life in prison, with each charge carrying a possible sentence of 20 years. With all the evidence that they have stacked against him, it isn't likely that he'll beat all of the charges. There's a chance he might kick one or two, but either way, it seems like he finna be facing time behind bars especially if they bring up the pictures from his Instagram, which they likely will, because that is straight up self-incrimination and there will almost be no fighting that one. Who Shiesty made a name for himself by dropping tracks like should have ducked, but now it looks like his career might be over. I mean, I know him be a young boy just dropped an album from behind bars, but I don't know if Shiesty finna be up for all that. But what you guys think? Does Poo Shiesty have any chance of beating this case? Honestly, the nigga just wasted our time watching that, you feel me? from him making his own assumptions. But look, this is what I'm finna do. I was gonna do it on this video. This video probably already a little bit too long. So look, the next video I'm posting right after this one. So you feel me? If you're watching this one, just go watch the other video. I'm finna go look at this video of what happened uh, on the scene, bro, to like kind of understand how, you feel me? He being charged with what he being charged with. Not to say that. A top flight lawyer of the world, Craig. No, you feel me? But 
I could put two and two together easily, you feel me? Because I heard it was Winnie the. You feel me? Y'all talking about Pooh was the. Winnie was the one really dubbed. You feel me? Don't tell nobody I told y'all though. You feel me? We still gonna keep that to ourselves. You feel me? Let's take a look at this video though.